products you could get by making this two molecule put together, right? Then you got to identify diene side, and you have to identify dienophile side, which is a double bond that can join this. So this is diene side, two double bonds, typically with electron donating groups. Alkyl groups, electron donating groups, alkoxy groups, electron donating groups. So those are the electron diene. This is a dienophile, this one or that one. It does not use both, it used one of them for a reaction. We don't know which one, but one of them will be used. So we have to redraw a line of molecule away that you could have a double bond for a real make a reactor six bond, six member ring. But why I drew these things in that way? Because of the end of it. We want to have electron rejoin groups like this one. Making a secondary interaction with the pi system. That's why I put these two polyvinyl right under the pi system. So it could make an end of products. After you align the molecule, we can expect the bond between these two carbons are made by the expense of the bond of pi bond here. And then this pi bond is going to move over here, making double bonds here. And this pi bond is going to be used to make the carbon carbon bond between those two. So if you draw like that, it's going to have this shape. I know that is not easy to draw in the beginning. That's why you're going to start to practice that. But the main thing is that, yeah, there's a six member ring. We just draw like here. And then the oxygen reaches up there. Right? And then these two hydrogen, there's an, X, there's an exo position. That's why it goes there. And then these two carbon that goes under as an endo, which comes the rest of them put together. You should be able to do it without looking at the answer. That will be your first task. All right? There's a lot of things can go wrong. Even the simple ones like this. And this will be a simple question if you ever see it in the test. Sometimes you want to draw in a more likely the new structure form that you have drawn, like a six member in a normal hexagon shape, and then these six member in a normal hexagon shape. You know, then you can use a batch and dash. I don't suggest you to do that immediately after this. You want to draw this and then convert to that structures if you want to. But it doesn't matter. You can give us that answer. It's fine. That perspective drawing is okay with us. In fact, we prefer to see that one. This is the kind of things that sometimes if you want to go to the form that you used to see, and like the bridges are on top, that's why we put two branch line to show the bridge there. These and these bridges are the same side, that's why this relationship is specified by the, the two branches there. Right? That makes it this bond is going to be a tr the trends that should be dashed, but you know, that's almost, you know, the, the automatic assume by having this methods of wretched and these kind of the dash. So it's so a lot of assumption goes in, but you know that's kind of you know another way of drawing it. You can give us neither forms, but the thing is that uh, it, it has to be by right. practicing the drawing this way is very likely. All right, next one. Next one is a bit more simple because we don't we're not going to have a bridge there, right? This is a six member ring. I mean these two double bond, that's a diene, the two double bond there, and then this aster carbonyl is going to go under. Why? Same rule, endo rule. So that's why you cannot forget about endo rule. The aster carbonyl go right under this there, and then the six the carbon carbon bonds that we create between this carbon, that carbon, by the dispense of these pi bonds of diene follow, and then these pi bonds move over there, making double bonds here. These pi bonds make new carbon carbon bonds, and that is the one's going to happen. So you get six member ring created, double bonds are moved to position, the carbon of the twin three of the diene gets the double bonds after the reaction, right? These two double bonds doesn't remain the same. You see that there's no double bonds there, no double bonds here. This was a single bond, but that changed double bonds. So that is an electron movement. So you want to remember that. Anyway, so this is double bond there. That's the bacteria groups there. That's what bacteria groups here. And then these two, these are hydrogens are XO, these two are endo, having those aster functions which goes down. 
and they are being cis because in the starting material, you see these two esters are cis to the other ones, they end up being cis in the front. So you're going to all the things checks out to make the right product. And same thing, you can draw that way, that's fine. I don't raise a penny, but I, will, I prefer it for you. All right, keep going. More questions? This is, uh, you know, you got diene right there. This is diene. We got double bonds. We got eventually we join groups. CN, we don't see any carbon in there. But what is the CN is made of? Carbon nitrogen triple bonds that has a pi bond. So that wants to go under. That's going to be under the end of addition. So it's not just a carbon, it goes under. Anything that is a pi bond that goes under. So this triple bond, carbon nitrogen triple bond, that carbon nitrogen triple bond, both being cis, still goes under. So it creates an end of addition. When they make a bond together, the cis member they create the same way. This is a base of CH2, going to make the same condition right here. These pi bonds gone, because we have to make a single bond by the expense of this pi bond. So that becomes a single bond. So that becomes a single bond, but we create that single bond because of that. These pi bonds move inside, that makes a different position having a double bond in it. And these pi bonds go there making a single bond, these two bonds here. And the two nitrile being on the same side because we start with the cis. And they take the end of positions, which is the under the positions. Yeah. So it's not just a carbonyl, right? Anything with the pythons that you need to take the end of positions. The question can be asked in other way. If you want to make this molecule with a yield of the reaction, what should be the starting material that you should use? Well, basically, if you can add, you can ask the question of the substraction. But this is a type of thing. So can you recognize which part of this molecule should come as a diene, which part of the molecule should come as a dienophile? Well, one thing that I'd like to remind you the dienophile, or well, typically having electron reactions. There are different substitutes single six member vein, but these are electron donating groups, these are electron withdrawing groups. So I should say that these electron withdrawing groups should be connected to double, uh, double ones there. That part's coming from the dino valve, and the other side, all particles of the other side, that should come as a diene. But if you draw the exact, the breaking this down, draw that there, that's not going to work. Because before the reaction, this was double bond, that was double bond, this was single bond, right? And then this is double bonds, it ends up being double bonds. So starting material should have a triple bond because the one pi bond should be used to make a bond. So you left the double bonds, meaning that what we should start it, it's a triple bond. So you shouldn't forget about that part when you draw the molecules as a starting material. By simply just breaking the molecule, four carbon types, two carbon types, and then you've got to recreate it based on the original electron, the electronic configurations 